They look like any happy, healthy mother and daughter. But Lauren Burke knows that she only has limited time with four-year-old Nikki. She and her husband and their 18-month-old baby son are all dying from AIDS. When we first got married, we thought this was the perfect marriage. We were so much in love when we had the two kids. We thought everything was perfect, and we had so many hopes for the future. But hopes now are slim. Lauren's husband, Patrick, is a hemophiliac. He contracted the deadly disease from one of his regular blood transfusions. He unwittingly passed the virus on to Lauren, who in turn passed it on to their unborn baby, Dwight, who's now desperately ill in hospital with weeks to live. The AIDS virus is affecting his brain, which is his major problem. He's gone to from being able to stand and, and walk around holding onto the table, talking, to doing absolutely nothing. He can't hold his head up. Is your husband able to, to get around at the moment? Uh, yeah, pretty much so. Uh, he can't do things like we used to do, like we used to go for walks. We can't go for walks anymore because we get too tired, especially my husband. He gets very short of breath and can't take her to the playground and play because we just are too tired to do things like that. Yeah. How much does Nikki understand of what, what's happening to you all? Um, not too much. Um, she says she knows that her mommy and daddy and brother are very sick, but what sick and dying means to a child? Mother ain't going to die soon, because ain't very old yet. Well, she she knows that brother's sick, right, honey? Huh? And daddy's sick? So she knows, but... She can't understand. She can't understand, she can't understand and, and I don't think she wants to understand. How much cherry coke? To, um, to be four years old and told that possibly any day your brother and your father and mother may die because they have a disease that there's no cure for. It's a lot for anybody to handle. So far, four-year-old Nikki shows no sign of contracting the disease herself. But unless a cure is found soon, it will take away her father, her mother, and her baby brother. Ken Reese, ITN, Pennsylvania.